Hey there guys, this is Minecraft Boss here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own free Minecraft PE server for unlimited time on Android. Let's go ahead and get started. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and ask for 5 likes on this video. That would be very appreciated. It would be awesome, and I know it's a bit more likes than I usually ask for. I usually just ask to leave a like if you like the video, but I have high hopes for this one. Now, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head into your Google Play Store app. For me, it's under my preloaded folder, and yeah. So now that you're in your Google Play Store app, you're going to want to click the search icon and search MCPE Hosting. If you want the actual name of the app, it's, uh, I believe, server hosting for MCPE. Is that it? Yep, that's it. It's by Star Lancer Studios, and it should be your first result, as you can see right here. It's the first result. So now, go ahead and click on that app, and you're going to want to install it. If you want to learn a bit more about it, go ahead and read the description while it's installing. MCPE hosting is a free server hosting solution created by the Minecraft Hosting Pro Team. Um, server hardware specs are, oh, and this is important, Intel Devils Canyon i7 4790K at 4 GHz with 1333 MHz RAM, SSD disk, 1 gigabyte per, or 1 gigabit per second, and dedicated DDoS production. They designed a simple and ergonomic panel, basically it's simple to use. Uh, the free package contains three players at a time, a custom domain, one map, one plugin, dedicated support 24-7, and never expire as long as you're active on your server. It actually never expires ever, ever, ever. It, like, never expires. But, um, it, it, uh, turns off, basically, kind of. If, if you're not on your server, it just turns the server off, and that's basically all it is. It's not a big deal. So, like, if you're not on for a day or something, then, um when you go into the server it'll be off all you gotta do is head into the app and then turn it back on it's really simple now that it's finished installing for you you're gonna want to go ahead and click open so once you have opened the app um it's gonna be a vertical mode so you're going to want to click um, whatever way you want to sign up, I signed up with my email, and then it's going to take you through a bit of a walkthrough, it's going to tell you, do you how, uh, like, what do you want your server name to be, some specs about it, and you basically just choose how many players, and you choose the name, and it's, it's very simple. So now, um, you need to type in your login, which is what I'm doing, um, but I'm censoring it so that you guys can't try to steal my password and log in and stuff. So you log in, and then you get to your server. And now this server is my server. If you guys want to go ahead and join, that's fine. You can join the server. Um, and basically, this is what I got. Um, no fly, allow PvP, blah, 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 force game mode, blah, 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 spawn mobs, blah, 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 spawn animals, announce success, enable weather, enable hunger, enable experience, enable redstone, enable query, hardcore mode, tells you how many people are online, tells you all the OPs, tells you all the people that are on your whitelist, and it tells you all the people that are banned. Um, it has a different worlds that are in the app, like shows you what world you have. It's got the server plugins, um, and it's got some miscellaneous stuff like the console, the uh, repair. Repair basically is like backing up your world. Support, FAQ, you can upgrade your plugins or the app, or basically update it. And then go into console, and it's gonna say a bunch of stuff like this. And, um, yeah. So now I believe we need to head into the, um, server. So you're going to want to go ahead and exit out and go into Minecraft. Let me turn this back to landscape. And, um, yeah, I will be right back once finished loading. Okay, so once you're in Minecraft, you're going to want to go ahead and make your server, uh, accessible by going into play, going to your friends, 
um, and then click the add server button, and then add in your port, your address, and some sort of name for the server, and when you're done, it should look something like this. So, then you're going to want to go ahead and join your server. So, I'll be right back once I've joined. Okay, so once you're in your server, you're just going to want to go ahead and start building, and eventually you're going to have a pretty good server. So yeah, that's about it, and uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe, hopefully we can get to 5 likes, and goodbye!